This flowchart video will serve as a guide for students and advisors through the UMKC Interdisciplinary PhD program. When the student is admitted to the program, they will be assigned an interim advisor in both the primary and co-discipline. It is important for the student to meet with both interim advisors to review past academic records and plan a tentative schedule of courses for the student's first two semesters in the program. All forms referenced in this video are available on the School of Graduate Studies website and each form has a numbered code to help you to find the form. If a student is provisionally admitted to the program, once the provisional requirements are met, the interim advisor or the chair of the student's supervisory committee needs to submit IPHD 11 to the School of Graduate Studies for the status of the student to change from provisional to full admission. If a student is fully admitted to the program initially, then they will be ready to enroll in courses and complete their plan of study within the first two years of the program. The annual assessment of student progress is a, an opportunity for the student to meet with their primary discipline and co-discipline advisors on an annual basis to review progress and plans for the upcoming year. Form IPHD1 is the annual assessment of progress that needs to be submitted to the School of Graduate Studies before September 30th each year. The first milestone in the student's program is when the supervisory committee is formed and the plan of study is developed. The plan of study, Form IPHD2, is submitted to the School of Graduate Studies with a two to four page preliminary research plan during the first two years of the program. The supervisory committee consists of at least five faculty members, one from the primary and co-discipline, and a maximum of three from any one discipline. The next major milestone is for the student to apply to take their comprehensive examinations. To advance to degree candidacy, the student must pass the comprehensive examination, which may be either written or oral, or both, and it integrates components of each discipline to which they have been admitted. Form IPHD3 is the application to take the examinations, which needs to be submitted to the School of Graduate Studies at least four weeks before taking the comprehensive examinations. Form IPHD4 is the form that is completed and signed by supervisory committee members after the examination is complete. The next milestone for students who have now advanced to candidacy is to have their research proposal approved by their supervisory committee members. It also is important for the appropriate institutional review board, if applicable, to approve of the research proposal. The candidate then begins their dissertation research and analysis of data according to the proposal. Form IPHD5 is the approval of research proposal submitted to the School of Graduate Studies. The preparation and preliminary approval of the dissertation involves the committee chairperson working with the student to complete the application for graduation and at least six weeks prior to the graduation date, the student needs to send a copy of the dissertation with the preliminary approval form IPHD6 to the School of Graduate Studies for formatting review. The final milestone is the defense of the dissertation. The candidate works with the supervisory committee chair to schedule the defense. Supervisory committee members each complete the final approval form. When final changes have been made to the dissertation, the chair signs each of the forms to indicate acceptance of the dissertation for the degree requirements. The dissertation is then certified by the School of Graduate Studies and the student will upload the dissertation to ProQuest. Forms IPHD 7 and IPHD 8 are the ones who are completed with the signatures of supervisory committee members. And once you have completed all degree requirements, you are ready for graduation. If you have questions as you go through these milestones, please contact the School of Graduate Studies or your advisors at any time.